Governor Mark Dayton is holding a news conference later this morning to talk about how prepared Minnesota is against Ebola. That includes how the state will monitor travelers returning from West Africa. Right now, three states have a mandatory 21 day quarantine for medical workers returning from there. But as Brian Webb reports, New York has taken a step back. After a weekend of fierce opposition from the White House and some medical experts, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo updated his state's mandatory 21-day quarantine protocols. Following screening at the airport, Cuomo says anyone who shows no symptoms of Ebola can now quarantine themselves at home. During those 21 days, health care workers would check on them twice a day to monitor their temperature and condition. Nurse Casey Hickox is the first healthcare worker isolated under the new protocols in New Jersey. Hickox is now being held in an isolation tent here at University Hospital in Newark after arriving from Sierra Leone where she treated patients with Ebola. She calls her treatment inhumane. The isolation tent has a portable toilet but no shower. She has hired a team of civil lawyers to help get her out. She knows how to treat and deal with Ebola. Unfortunately, Governor Christie apparently does not. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie is standing by his state's protocols. I don't believe when you're dealing with something as serious as this that we can count on a voluntary system. Federal officials warn the quarantine will prevent other health care workers from traveling to the region. The best way to protect Americans is to stop the epidemic in Africa, and we need those health care workers to do that. New Jersey's quarantine policy will most likely face its first legal test this week as Hickox plans to file a federal lawsuit within days. The White House plans to release national guidelines for returning medical workers soon.